Is your yard brimming with beautiful bushes and luscious landscaping? Some of it probably isn't supposed to be here in southwestern Pennsylvania. It might even be invasive, posing as a harm to our local ecosystems, even our pets. The good news is that right now is the perfect time to learn about it and to prepare. And joining us now to talk all about Invasive Species Week and what kind of stuff just shouldn't be growing here is Jonathan Burgess with the Allegheny County Conservation District. Thank you for joining us tonight. Yeah, happy to be here. Thanks, Megan. We'll talk invasive plants first. I wanted you to explain why some species are considered invasive or bad for our yards. Sure. Uh, the simplest reason is, is that they're not from here. So they've entered our ecosystem either as a, an ornamental that someone wanted to plant or they hitched a ride on a train or a boat from another country and they have no competitors. So they take over, they push out all the healthy species that are in our environment and they really disrupt the natural ecosystem. Are there and some even ones have that we still have ones? lurking around? Oh, certainly. Yeah, um, butterfly bush is one that you'll still see a lot. Uh, Japanese barberry is a, uh, a huge nuisance to a lot of us who have, uh, have them growing in our yards and privet as well. Privet. So if you look out and you realize that you have one of them in your yard, what should you do? Well, there are a few that are toxic to humans. So it's always good to kind of look up information maybe from the Department of Conservation and Natural Resources or our website at accdpa.org. But generally, for most, you just want to dig them out of the ground. You want to remove them, roots and all, and put something else in that place so that it can take hold, you know, a good native species. And the one interesting thing you said about the barberry, or that I read, was that it's not just that it, it, it pricks your fingers and it's a nuisance, but if you have pets, you should possibly be concerned? Yeah, one of the things they found recently is that Japanese barberry uh, is a really good host plant for deer ticks, which mm. carry Lyme disease. Okay. So for children and dogs and really anyone, it's, uh, it's a plant that can bring those threats into your yard. Some of us are a little lost when it comes to when you, when you show up and you're, you're buying plants and you don't even know where to start. What would you suggest people look to plant instead if they have one of these Japanese barberries, for example? Yeah, well, there are a lot of great options. Places like Tree Pittsburgh have their heritage nursery, which sells all sorts of native trees and shrubs. Okay. Uh, Phipps does a great May market. Really, any, um, any good nursery will have tips for you on native plants that you can replace them with. And Penn State Extension is also a great resource um, for people who are interested in doing that. And I guess is now a good time to start thinking about it? Very much so. Uh, there's an upcoming seed swap with native seeds at the Carnegie Library uh, a week from this Saturday. There's May markets. Uh, planting season is right around the corner. So I would encourage people to start thinking about this now. So exciting. That means it's going to start getting warm. Jonathan, thank you so much for your time you know. tonight. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.